outpouring this week from the international golf community, not only in Asia, but across the world, has been uh, just unbelievable. Uh, we're going to talk with uh, two people that knew him quite well. Let's bring them on now. Cho Min Tant is the Asian current Asian Tour Commissioner and Chief Executive. And Dominic Boulet, who is a sportscaster, a friend of Sheila Han for many years, played with him on the tour, roomed with him on the tour. And both of these gentlemen are with us. Uh, good morning, gents. Uh, so happy to have you on, uh, even though this is a somber occasion, but we're, we're happy to have you on Saturday mornings here on Money FM. Morning, Glenn. Thank How you. are you? Morning. Uh, thanks. Thanks, guys, for being with us. Um, Cho, let's start with you and, and talk to us about... Uh, Sheila Han's legacy as it relates to the Asian tour? I mean, quite simply put, I mean, the Asian tour is not where we are today without Sheila. Um, he was a great influence on everyone at the Asian tour. Um, he was an ever-present around the Asian tour for the last, I would say, 25 years. And, I mean, it simply won't be the same without him. Um, he had such great vision, um, and he supported the players until... The very last day so um it, it's just very sad to see that uh, chila won't be with us to see uh you know the fruits of his labor with the asian tour progressing into what he always wanted and dominic you're a sportscaster you followed his career for many years you watched him both in singapore and in the region prominent figure on the asian tour tell us what his strengths were as a golfer what kind of golfer was he uh he was a very good one. Um, <laughs> let's see. I mean, I've I've met Chila in 1985, and uh, we 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 roomed together. We we played on the tour together. We played the year he won the Order of Merit in 99. We played a lot of practice rounds together, and he was a great driver of the ball. And actually, his the real strength of his game was his 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 mid irons and his long irons. He was just you know for for a guy who's not that tall. He used to launch it high in the air and let get the ball to land soft. He was just a good ball striker, not a very good chipper. <laughs> he was <laughs> terrible around the greens. In fact, I don't know how, you know, he didn't miss that many greens the year he won the Order of That's how well he was hitting it, but he could putt too. So I would say, you know, his, his, his approach, long iron approach, his mid irons and his putting were, were the real strengths of his game. And, and Dom, you were with him in, as you mentioned, those, those early years and, Talk to us a bit about his impact, not only on the Asian tour, but golf in North America and Europe as well, because he, his, his, he has a long tail when it comes to his impact uh, on the sport, for especially for yeah. Asian golfers. Yeah, well, he was really the first Asian to venture to play in Europe and go and play in Australia and uh, uh, just, you know, he was a pioneer in that sense uh, certainly the european tour he was a member of the european tour for a few years uh and when you know no other asians were on that tour and he would travel around europe and don't forget he had a, a burmese passport at the time or myanmar passport and it was very difficult to travel with visas uh and but yet he persevered uh he forged a path for others to follow and as Joe just mentioned, you know, he, he ran the tour and uh, he used all his experience over those years to, to build the Asian tour to what it is today. And Joe, I mean, we'll talk more about the Asian tour shortly, but let's bring it a little bit closer to home. He was based in Singapore primarily, huge figure on the local golf scene. What would you say his impact and influence was on Singaporean golf? Um, I mean, I was fortunate uh, fortunate enough to spend uh, a large part of my career at the Asian Tour alongside Sheila. So uh, on a personal level, he was a mentor to me, and uh, we became very close over working many, many tournaments and many, many, uh, on many, many projects together. So I'll never forget him from a, a personal standpoint. But when it comes to Singapore golf, I know he was a confidant of Murugaya, who is the Singapore PGA president. And... Um, a lot of the stuff that Murugaya has brought to the Singapore PGA was influenced by Chila. So he was working behind the scenes with the boys here in Singapore. And uh, I know he had a very uh, close relationship to the Singapore PGA. So the tournaments that they play, uh, the way that PGA is set up is um, you know, largely influenced by Chila. 
We're talking about the passing of uh, professional golfer Chila Han uh, at the age of 61 just a week ago. And uh, a Singapore citizen for many years lived here with his uh, wonderful wife Marlene and their two daughters. And uh, I, I was really touched and honored to be able to go to the celebration of life the other day. Dom and, and Cho Yu and I spoke and met there. And the one thing as I was listening to the conversations, there was so much laughter and there were so many, you know, crazy stories about this thing and that thing. And it was anything, but it was a, it was a somber occasion in that, of course, we were all sad that, that Sheila passed, but, but the, the energy and the positivity about who he was and the great memories that he left uh, just struck me so very, very vividly. Um, how do you guys feel about, you know, when you think of him, it must put a smile on your face, right? So many great things that he did, said, and just the way he was as a, as a person. Dom, what, what comes to you? You know, I, I mean, I've got lots of memories. You know, we, we shared rooms, a room together for over a thousand nights on tour. But, you know, just <laughs> a, a, a testament of, uh, of, you know, his legacy or, you know, the impression he left. I mean, since since his passing, I mean, I've, I, me, because they, they knew we were good friends, I've had hundreds of messages from people who, mm. who I haven't heard from in 25 years. I didn't even know they had my telephone number just mm. to, you know, just to mention Chila and uh, how great he was. And I know Cho's had even more than, more than I've had. Uh, so, you know, you're talking four, 500 messages from people around the world have, uh, you know, I've talked about Chila. So, and just, you know, just, uh, giving their condolences and it's, it's amazing. Uh, that's the impression he left. And he was just a laid back, actually, you know, funnily enough, he was a fiery guy on the golf course. He, he had a hot temper on the golf course and I've seen him throw clubs and break clubs, <laughs> but completely different personality on the, uh, off the golf course. I never mm. saw, saw him lose it in, in any environment, uh, whether it was in a business environment or he, he was just laid back, but he was a different guy on the golf course. And uh, well, just to follow on that, Dom, we, we, uh, his family are listening to the show and mm. they found out that after this segment, we have a Freddie Mercury singer coming on. And apparently they were delighted because he loved Queen, he loved music, <laughs> yeah. played the guitar apparently, and just had a really colourful life, Dom, away from the golf course as well. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, the last four or five years, music is actually, I would think, his first love. Uh, hmm. Playing the guitar, and uh, he had a great friend, Robin, who's a professional musician, who he, he went on stage. And I mean, he's, he had some nerve, didn't he, Joe? Because, <laughs> we, you know, we couldn't believe he'd go up on stage with, in front of hundreds of people and play the guitar and sing, uh, which, uh, you know, it was a, a confidence that was, was incredible. But, uh, yeah, he, he loved it. He had fun. Mm, and we're talking with uh, uh, two, two guys that really knew the professional golfer, Chila Han, Cho Min Tant, who is the Asian Tour Commissioner and Chief Executive, and Dom Boulay, sportscaster and a, a friend for many decades of Chila Han. And, and Cho, what comes to you when you think about his, his personality off the course? And you mentioned he was a mentor to you in many ways, but uh, you know, we're talking about his music and, mm -hmm. uh, and his competitiveness, but also his, his humanity toward other people. What, what kinds of thoughts or memories come to you? Um, I guess just to echo what Dom said, I mean, what's been overwhelming is exactly sort of how many friends Gila actually had. Um, he had uh, multiple sets of friends from not just the golf industry, but family friends. He loved music, so he had music friends. Um, he had friends from diving because he loved to go diving. He um, had friends from all over the world, from all all different parts of life and um, I guess with that many friends you have many many experiences and he sure as hell lived a, a very very colorful life and had lots of experiences and uh, you know, he, he lived a uh, very very good life so we're happy obviously not happy uh, that he's gone too soon but he did live a very full life Hmm. Well, I mean, Charles, staying with you for a moment, it's interesting to read that in lieu of flowers, the family requested donations uh, to the Chilahan Future Champion Award. Uh, well, maybe first you could tell us a little bit about that, the Chilahan Future Champion Award, what it is, what its ambitions are, and related to that, what you think his legacy will be for the sport? 
Um, as Dom mentioned, he was always a pioneer for Asian golf, and he always wanted to promote uh, the fact that there is talent in Asia, and it's world-class talent. So he was uh, the trailblazer for that, and you see young guys coming out of the Asian tour, coming through our qualifying school, playing the Asian tour for several years, going on to uh, the European tour, the PGA tour, and I mean that was the path that Gila wanted them to follow. Uh, so along with that uh, sort of mission in mind, we'll set up a fund for young golfers um, who come from amateur status and, and tr transition into professionals, uh, support them through their journey through qualifying school. It's always the, the toughest part of your career to come through qualifying school uh, as an amateur where you have the support of the local golf associations or whoever it might be into professionalism where you feel like you're on your own and, and you're playing for a living. So we feel like we'll uh, support the golfers that come through that transition phase, uh, identify who's in need, who's talented, and um, give them a kickstart to their career. Fantastic. We're celebrating the life of Chila Han, a professional golf player, won the Order of Merit in 1999, and really a force in the Asian tour, uh, but many places around the world. Uh, Dom, what are some of the, uh, who are some of the pros? I know he played with Tiger. He played with, you know, so many of the pros over the years at, at different uh, occasions. Um, who have you heard that's been reaching out uh, to Marlene and the family uh, to uh, wish their condolences and, and, and you know, fond memories of Sheila? Uh, I, I know Vijay Singh. He was very close with Vijay Singh, uh, has reached out to Marlene. Um, and on social media, it's quite a few of the top pros from Europe and Australia have reached out. I think Thomas Beyond definitely reached mm -hmm. out. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, just fr from all over the world, um, golfers, other tours, the administration, um, just like Joe said. Just anyone who's been part of the Anyone who's been part of the Asian tour for the last two decades knew Gila. Mm -hmm. He was very accessible. He was always around, and he would always have a chat with you and uh, give you advice if, if you wanted it. He always had time for everyone. So almost every one of my contacts who are professional golfers and had some interaction with him has reached out to me uh, and said, look, it's a, it's a true loss uh, to the game yeah. of golf. And, uh, mm. you know, it's always... And, and, um uh, sorry, I was going to say, Dom, we, we don't want you to talk out of school too much, but you did spend a thousand nights with the guy. Uh, what uh, what do you know about Sheila that the rest of the world doesn't know? <laughs> what, wow. Give us some insight or a story about something that, uh, that eh, maybe we might have missed in the public uh, in the public eye, but that you can talk about on a family radio show. <laughs> uh, actually, I mean, yeah, we had some great fun on tour and nights, guys, and after tournaments, you know, Sunday nights and Mondays when we traveled, we had so much fun you know just relaxing and letting loose because you know tournament weeks are quite quite stressful um but you know i mean you know chila came from a very influential family uh in burma but you know he, he just he was devoid of hubris he just he never really mentioned it he never played it up he was a guy who was not he had, you know he was not trying to get attention from uh uh you know being being someone who was you know special or important uh he's just he was just a guy who who who's a happy go lucky um that everyone knew uh but you know that that's the impression i i i will always have of him is laughing uh, mm. Mm. we laughed a lot i have so. to agree with you I, you know i i didn't have the honor of meeting him until 2015 so obviously he had already retired from golf and uh, he was promoting a, a new golf course up in Dalat in uh, in Vietnam again trying to promote the game in in that country as well and and one thing that struck me was he was just so accessible he was a giant in the in the golfing world and to me someone he didn't know and wasn't a professional golfer he was just very open and and kind and played his guitar and and just uh, that that sort of uh, positivity from him just really seemed to shine in every element yeah. of his life. And, and, and Cho, when you think about now, as you move the tour forward uh, and, and the legacy, not just with the uh, future champion award, but uh, what else can be done to sort of keep his memory, his spirit alive in the Asian tour? Um, I mean, I think everyone around the tour, like I mentioned, knows him. Um, so the, the memory of Sheila will live um, forever. I mean, the, the guys who work together with me 
uh, day in, day out at the Asian tour. We work closely with GLA for many, many years. The federations from around the world, um, PGA Tour, European Tour, South Africa, Australia, Korea, China, um, they still know GLA as Mr. Asian Tour. So he's forever going to be um, more or less the, the father of the Asian Tour. Yeah. Thank you so much to both of you, gentlemen. Cho Min Tant, the Asian Tour Commissioner and Chief Executive. Uh, Dom Boulay, sportscaster and a uh, friend for many decades of Sheila Han. Of course, our, our heartfelt wishes go out to Marlene Han and their girls. And thanks to both of you for, uh, for reminiscing and really uh, keeping alive the, the spirit of, of just an amazing golfer and somebody who supported Asian golfers. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.